Welcome back to the Conway Regional Health System pregame show. It's time now for our weekly roundtable discussion. I'm joined by the voices of the Wampus Cats. It's Levi Gilbert, and it is Tim Roach. They were in the stands a week ago at Jonesboro watching the Hurricane take on your Wampus Cats. Conway gets the victory. Uh, guys, before we look at the home opener tonight against Bentonville, I'd love to have both of your thoughts about the Conway victory over Jonesboro a week ago. Levi, floor is yours. I think it's easy to get caught up with, you know, how Grayson Wilson played. And I mean, rightly so he played, he played really well um, both in the air and on the ground. Uh, but man, I was really impressed with just the ground game in general. If you, if you look at it offensively, it was like 50, 50 in terms of uh, overall yard production between the two sides and uh, Trey Harris, he almost racked up <laughs> the same amount of yards all from last year <laughs> that he had in this one game. So, I mean, 14 carries for 130 and, and two scores on the ground. I was really impressed with that because, you know, we've seen in the past few years that when we have more of that that 50-50 or as close to 50-50 as we can get, those are the years where we really seem to perform better and have a chance to be super competitive deep into the playoffs. So that was a, a not surprise for us because – you just don't know, man. You just don't know until you get out on the field and see how how everybody's going to perform. And I thought the offensive line and Trey Harris did a great job. Yeah, I, I think I would say right there on that point, you had 10 new starters on offense. And so there was a lot to be discovered in that whole side of the ball. And I thought, and my surprise was that they played so well. They had one bad series. And then from that point forward, the first teamers really – took control on the offense. And you saw an offensive line that played really well. You, you saw wide receivers breaking open. And uh, so there was a lot of good things that came out. It was a little bit of a surprise to me, but I thought defensively as well. Listen, they we gave up a uh, kickoff return for a touchdown after we got up 14 to nothing. And that was kind of, that was a little bit of a shock. But the first team defense, the first team defense didn't give up anything. Uh, they were they shut them out. Uh, we gave up two scores late in the game to to some reserves and new guys in. But defensively, we flew to the ball. We really looked like we knew what we were doing. They plugged in a lot of different players. So th this this defense could be really really good. And you got some dogs over there. You got some guys that really really like defense. And so I was very impressed with how we came together and played defensively overall. Uh, it was a really good effort. The 42-21 score is not really reflective of, of really how dominant this game was. It is a step up in competition for the home opener tonight against the Bentonville Tigers, a team we've played, uh, seems like a lot. I don't know if it's, it hasn't been every year, but it's been a bunch of the years uh, recently. And they always seem to be good football games. It's two good programs from uh, two communities that really support uh, their teams. And so tonight, uh, what can we look forward to? I, I think the storyline for most of us is going to be Grayson Wilson, as it will be for a while. Uh, Grayson last week getting his first snaps against a high school football team that wasn't in the lower classifications. Well, now tonight it's going to be snaps against one of the biggest programs in the state. Uh, what do you guys, uh, how do you see that playing out? Yeah, and I've, I've been looking at this from kind of a macro level uh, this week. I mean, it was the uh, it's been my 15 year anniversary from my first uh, broadcast with Conway Corp was th happened this week, and we played Bentonville to start. It was the 2009 season. Uh -huh. uh, it was Clint Ashcraft's first year, and Bentonville just just wrecked us. And I just look at that at like for so long. I mean, that was their heyday when they were just just churning out championships. But, you know, it's been 10 years since they've won a state championship. So for me, I'm like, man, things have just kind of shifted over the last decade where Conway, we're, we can slug it out with them. And so yes. I look at their 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 defense and really the team overall, they're super talented still. They're they're big, they're strong. But man, the the gap is just not there anymore between, you know, the physicality of their players and ours. It, there's no gap anymore. Yeah. In fact, I would say I think we're probably bigger and stronger in some positions and, and maybe a little faster in some some, uh, you know, skill positions. So I'm looking forward to see how Grayson does, because you're as you say, this is this is it. This is big boy football. This is 7A competition. You can't get any higher than, than this. You know, this, this is what he came here for This is what he wants to go up against. And I think about Camry and Blackman, the game he had last week, you know, three catches. Uh, 134 yards should have had two touchdowns <laughs> only ended up with one but um I think he's gonna have some some great possibilities tonight and the way he's playing as a sophomore is so encouraging 
Uh, I think he's going to have some some chances to do some great things, and Max Owen as well. If if we can block, if we can keep uh, responsibility on the offensive line, and and you know catch where wherever the blitzer is coming from, I think our offense is poised to do some great things. Benville's got they're they're almost in the same position we are. They have to reload this year. They lost their uh, all state quarterback, an all state uh, wide receiver who went to the Razorbacks who actually got time the other night. So an offensive line that changed out, but they they reload a little bit like Conway does. So we are kind of coming at this game in the same spot. They played a, a, a Tulsa Union team that's one of the better teams in Oklahoma, and it took them all the way to overtime for Tulsa Union to beat them. So if you look at the competition level, no knock on Jonesboro, but Jonesboro is not Tulsa Union. And so we played probably the way we should have played. They played, Benville played the way I thought they would play. Uh, they're very talented. I do think I agree with Levi. I do think that um, we can win this ball game. If we don't win this ball game, it's not because they were more dominant than we were. It's because we didn't play up to our expectations. And I know the expectations are starting to run high. Uh, the confidence level on this team, talking to the coaches, talking to some of the players, uh, they feel really good about where they are. It's easy to be when you're one and zero and you mercy ruled your first opponent. But when you got Benville facing you, uh, you you can you can take a step back if you're not really feeling it. I don't think these guys are that way. I I think they're starting to develop that Buck James mentality of we're going to go out for a little bit of a war and hoping that you're up to it. Well, we'll see how it plays out tonight. Pre-game show at 6.30 on Conway Corp Channel 5 and online conwaycorp.com slash WC to go. And the kickoff at 7 o'clock tonight live from John McConnell Stadium.